हेलो एवरीवन आई एम कार्तिक के वी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम ए जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो लास्ट क्लास वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट सोल्डरिंग पार्ट्स सो सोल्डरिंग इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ जॉइनिंग ऑफ सिमिलर और डिसिमिलर मेटल बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ हीट अलॉन्ग विद दैट फिलर मटीरियल सो इट इज वन ऑफ द टाइप temporary joining process so mainly this is used for joining of uh, electronics uh, circuit boards or wires along with that uh, silver uh, shops and uh, gold shops uh, they are using for soldering process joining of uh, small small parts okay so the up to the temperature of uh, 450 degrees celsius so today's class will discuss about um, the brazing part so this is another type okay soldering we already discussed in the last class today's class will discuss about brazing so what is that brazing and how uh, it will be processed okay we'll discuss today's class so brazing so brazing is a method of joining similar or dissimilar metal by means of a filler metal those melting temperature is above 450 degree celsius the melting temperature of this joint is above 450 degree celsius but below the melting point of base metal below the melting point of base metal so suppose if you take uh, the metal melting uh, mel uh, melting of uh, aluminum the uh, melting point of aluminum is should be more than 1000 degree celsius so uh, we we can uh, joining with the help of brazing process so it is a above 450 degree celsius but below the melting uh, point of the base metal so brazing is a method of joining similar or dissimilar metal by means of a filler material so we filler material we have to supply externally similar to that of soldering process okay similar to that of soldering pro process we are supplying externally and with the help of heating so here the difference is the heat will be produces with the help of gas so gas combustion because of that heat will be produces not like electrical current so in brazing process uh, they it is not using the current for uh, producing heat here heat will be produces with the help of uh, flames okay so how flames will be produces the by uh, mixing of two gases by mixing of two gases uh, flame will be produces then because of that flames that filler material will be melts and deposited in between the two workpiece and joint take place joint take place that is called as brazing process that is called as brazing process but the melting temperature is more than 450 degree celsius in brazing process so brazing is a method of joining similar or dissimilar metal by means of a filler metal whose melting temperature is above 450 degree celsius but below the melting point of the base metal below the melting point of the base metal work piece okay so next so this is the uh, visible okay yeah, it is uh, looks like like this and uh, the brazing brazed joint is uh, looks like this uh, like this and uh, we can't Uh, guess the whether the joints is there or not but uh, welded joint is like this so most uh, slag will be we can see in the welded joints but in braze, brazed joints clean joint take place between two work piece okay so that is called as joint uh, brazing joint and also it is visible like gold in color golden color okay the braze braced joint you can observe here the gold color okay so the filler metal called spelter okay spelter the filler metals we have to supply externally uh, in the brazing process that uh, filler metal called as spelter is a non ferrous metal or alloy non ferrous metal or alloy that is called as spelter the copper and copper alloy silver and silver alloy and aluminum alloy are filler metals for brazing okay so the flow of molten filler material into the gap the flow of molten filler material into the gap between the two work pieces is driven by the capillary force okay driven by the capillary force the filler material cool down and solidifies uh, forming a strong metallurgical joint okay filler material is uh, melted uh, because of that flames and deposited in between the two work piece and allow it to solidifies you will get a permanent joints that uh, flame will be produces the temperature is more than 450 degree celsius okay 450 degree celsius so how flames will be produces in a brazing process 
the flames will be produces with the help of two gas mixture here one uh, usually using oxyacetylene gas is used okay so oxyacetylene gas is uh, is act as a combustible gases combustible gases and oxygen gas is act as what oxygen gas is act as a burning gases burning so helps to burn the uh, uh, gases okay so oxygen is act as a uh, burning gases and uh, acetylene gas is used as a combustible gases so it will produces the flames okay it will produces flames and that flame will melts the spelter spelter is nothing but the external uh, filler material and deposit it in between the workpiece and allow it to solidify you will get a permanent joint okay. so the flux used is uh, either power liquid or paste form okay so flux used is either power liquid or paste form and borax borax is the common type of flux used okay borax is the common type of flux used okay borax okay next type of brazing these are the different types of brazing so torch brazing furnace brazing dip brazing resistance brazing and induction brazing and vacuum brazing these are the different types of brazing it is not there in your syllabus so i will not go going to deep in this case okay the flux used either power liquid or paste form okay so flux what is the use of flux i already mentioned in the soldering process what is the use of flux so that is uh, the flux uh, usage of flux is similar that and the application of flux is same it act as a oxidizing agent prevent the oxidation so that uh, avoid we can uh, the avoid the joint parts protection of joint parts from the corrosion and uh, the dust okay so and borax is common type of flux used borax is used as a flux in uh, brazing process so here you can see the resistance brazing so resistance brazing is uh, one of the pressure type of brazing process pressure brazing process so applying pressure there is no filler material is required for resistance brazing okay so next what is the advantages of brazing process i already explain the with the help of gas with the help of two gases so uh, adjustable gases with the help of that adjustable acetylene as well as oxygen gases the flame will be produces that flame is nothing but the brazing torch brazing torch will produces the flames and the flame because of that flames the uh, filler material act as a flux okay filler material act as a flux that will be uh, melted and deposited in between the two similar or dissimilar metals and allow it to solidify you will get the permanent joint that is called as brazing process that is called as brazing process much heat is not involved in the process so much heat is not required okay so that heat is in the range uh, around 450 degree celsius to 900 degree celsius hence low thermal distortion and residual stress in the joints the, so the stress developed if the temperature of the uh, joining process is increases then uh, the much stress is developed in the workpiece so if the stress is less is nothing but uh, how stress will be reduces by reducing the temperature of the joining process easily automated process automated process easily and automated process automated is nothing but the flames are produces and uh, uh, that will be uh, he heat uh, around more than 450 degrees celsius that will be melt the filler external material then it will be deposited in between the workpiece and allow you to solidify so you will get the joints so very similar and dissimilar parts can be joined here similar or dissimilar metal can be joined in the uh, brazing process next what are the disadvantages of brazing process flux residual must be removed after brazing okay so uh, flux will be used for uh, prevent the oxidation after joining process we have to remove the fluxes okay otherwise which may causes the corrosion that flux may occurs the corrosion here borax is used uh, as a flux agent okay borax is used as a flux agent and large and thick section cannot be braced efficiently large and uh, only small uh, type of material uh, we can brace with the help of brazing process so big type of workpiece we can't uh, use here and relatively expensive filler material filler material cost is very expensive compared to other joining process okay borax is cost is very high and also it is uh, looks like golden in color okay
so next we'll discuss about the difference between brazing and as well as soldering so filler metal used in brazing is called as pelter so name is different okay so here also filler material is using in soldering process also filler metals are using in the soldering uh, filler material is called as solder the brazing filler material is called as spelter okay the name of uh, filler material in brazing as well as soldering are different and melting point of filler metals is above 450 degree celsius but below the melting point of the workpiece metal okay the melting point of a filler material is below 450 degree celsius no melting point of the filler material is above 450 degree celsius in brazing process but below the melting point of the workpiece metal okay the melting point of the filler material is below 450 degree celsius below 450 degree celsius the strong joint can be obtained in bracing strong joints are very strong and the strength of the joint obtained in soldering is comparatively low so strength of the joint obtained in soldering is comparatively low the braced joints resist corrosion so soldering joint do not resist corrosion to the same extent as that of braced joint the brazing is slightly costlier compared to uh, soldering okay so brazing is costlier process and soldering is uh, a cheaper process why because the filler material cost itself the is very high borax cost is very high and uh, the the temperature of the brazing process is around uh, 450 degrees celsius to uh, 900 degrees celsius and the melting point of the filler material is uh, below 450 degrees celsius strong joint can be obtained in brazing strong joint is nothing but the it uh, we can extend the Uh, around 900 degrees celsius the heat strength and strength of the joint obtained in solder is comparatively low so it is temporary joint both are temporary joining process only the brace joint resists corrosion so and uh, why because flux we are using in both cases but uh, this flux is uh, more uh, uh, high strength okay why because the and also borax uh, cost is also very high okay Thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this class, we already discuss about brazing and uh, how it will be process and uh, the different uh, uh, the difference between the brazing as well as soldering and uh, which uh, flux we are using in a brazing process. Everything we studied in this class. Further, if you have any doubt, please approach me. Thank you. Thank you one and all.